Well, a lot has changed since this badge was invented. Volkswagen, which quite literally translates into the people's car, is moving out of the working class with this, the Arteon, a luxury sedan it believes is a genuine rival to the likes of BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and its own sister brand, Audi. The Arteon replaces what was previously known as the Passat CC, and will be positioned as the brand's flagship passenger car when it arrives in Australian showrooms from October. It will only be offered in a single R-Line specification, but will come with a price premium that will take its sticker price beyond the $60,000 barrier. As such, it is a car that Volkswagen believes is a genuine alternative to the established junior luxury sedans like the BMW 3 Series, Mercedes-Benz C-Class and the Audi A4 with which it shares its lightweight foundations. And it certainly has the style to stand up to them. Thanks to its classy coupe-like silhouette that is contrasted by an intimidating face and muscular wheel arches over turbine-like 20-inch alloy wheels. Well, the cabin is not quite as dramatic looking on the inside as that exterior design, but it is still a classy place to be. It's beautifully well built, there's some really nice finishes to it, but what really elevates the Arteon into a genuine luxury car is its technology. It's got a brand new 9.2 inch colour touchscreen, and it also comes standard with the active info display. Where you're really getting your bang for your buck is back here in the rear seat. Where this car is going to cost around the same as a compact luxury car like a BMW 3 Series, it has the space of a larger car the next size up. The Arteon R-Line is powered by a 2.0-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that drives VW's latest 4-motion all-wheel drive transmission via a 6-speed automatic gearbox. It produces a healthy 206 kilowatts and 350 newton metres of torque, while achieving a claimed average fuel consumption of 7.3 litres per 100 k's. Tap into the accelerator and there is a little bit of hesitation in getting it all up and running. The turbo has a little bit of lag to it and this DSG gearbox just has that hesitation as it drops down a few cogs. But once on the go, this is a pretty sprightly large car. And it's the same in terms of how it drives. Just cruising around town, it is relatively luxurious. It's quiet, it's refined but it can tap into the corners quite well. This is built on the same lightweight foundations that underpin the Volkswagen Golf and also the smaller Polo underneath it. So it's not a heavy car, even though it's quite sizable. Uniquely, its adaptive dampers also have more functionality than just the conventional comfort, normal and sport modes. In fact, you can vary the firmness across a myriad of settings. This car is also loaded with the latest safety tech got adaptive cruise control with predictive speed limits so when you come into a village or a town like this it automatically reduces the speed to 50 30 kilometers an hour and then out of the village it will accelerate back up to the natural speed limit while that's quite handy it also reads GPS data so it slows down for roundabouts and sharp turns too plus it's got the usual array of electronic aids like lane keeping assistance self parking plus it will automatically stop if it senses that you're not in control anymore it will literally find a gap in the road, pull over to the side, put the hazard lights on and alert the emergency services. In the end, the Arteon's on-road character isn't that far removed from the range-topping Passat, a car that already challenges the notion of why you need to spend any more than 60 grand for a genuine luxury German sedan. But the Arteon's unique style and presence is definitely worth paying a little extra for.